Hello everyone, good to be here with uh, one of the UEFA and FIFA referees who is uh, I know a long time ago and uh, I'm really happy that he took part of uh, uh, time to share with us uh, what is safe call and why we use it and what his thoughts. So, so Christo Toffer, nice to see you again and uh, uh, I want to give you this uh, product uh, just a touch and see and uh, ask you some questions and I would really appreciate if you share your thoughts with us and, uh, and what's your opinion uh, how how we can change the soccer safer so uh, Christo tell me a little bit about you what's your daily work today so I'm a professional referee I've been for the last uh, five years just a professional yeah. referee but before that I was uh, referee for the last 22 years and I've been in FIFA for the last 13 years as a FIFA referee. Have you heard about safe call before? Yes I have, I, uh, I've talked to you before but uh, and I've seen some of the videos and now I'm holding it in my hands and I've seen quite a lot of accidents with goals over the years, uh, not maybe so much in professional level but with kids football um, where you have different goals lying around the stadium and um, well the product uh, and the softness of the product would um, stop uh, some of the injuries happening like last weekend we were in this big um, uh, kids cup uh, in Pernu and the goalkeeper of, of one of the teams got injured because she fell against the post and got some nerve damage uh, so she is resting now for the next three weeks and probably with this um, softer version of a goal she would be safe. Well, what do you think uh you as a referee that if uh, we have videos now, we have a uh, lot of techniques and everything, but the goalposts have always been the same all around the world. And this is the only version now, or unique uh, product in the world that we try to bring it uh, on the market. So what do you think, uh, what's your opinion? Does it really, does it uh, anyway one day the goals has to be safer because I've seen also myself that uh, I was watching the European Championship against uh, 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 and then uh, one Brazilian player who was actually uh, Russian uh, played Russia and uh, Finland and uh, one of the players hit the post and it was really important game like winning the group stage and uh, and he wanted to save wanted to save the ball on the goal line and hit the post and was out straight away but my my point was you think uh, one day anyway the goals should change because in our facts hundreds of thousand kids get uh, injured uh, every year and this is a fact because uh, also kids has been uh, really badly damaged even uh, I don't want to say this but uh, some kids have died uh, last year also because hitting or fall, the goals have been falling down so we have counterweight system also in build here so me and you we can hang on the bar and nothing will happen we will not uh, take it down because the counterweight is really balanced that it won't fall down even if it's heavy wind or something what's your opinion should the goal post change one day well, make the game safer. As a referee, my main job uh, on the field of play um, is to make the game um, safe for everyone, for the players, uh, not to punish everyone, but to, to make it safe and make it enjoyable. So any uh, topic, I mean, is it VAR or something else, uh, or the new goalposts that achieve that aim, that's actually a, a really good one to do. And, and again, like there's two levels to this. There's one level is like, uh, you know the big games that you talked about in the World Cups we never want to see like the big players injured and, and the spectacle being ruined because of that and if these uh, softer goalposts can do that that's one thing but they, as you said there are hundreds there are millions of kids playing on in stadiums all around the world each day and uh, if the new technology can make it safer then uh, as referees we would love it thank you and uh, as a fact also we want to say that in many countries already they have uh, refused for kids under 12 or under 14 playing in the practices uh, with the head already the ball yeah. because they see and this is one of the reasons also we think that uh, if you can make the kids and soccer world safer then we have this product to share to show and thank you Christoph for sharing your thoughts with us and uh, hopefully we can make the soccer world safer thanks Excellent. thanks keep your prize good luck